Yo, what's up boys? It's your boy Archon coming at you with a brand new video and hey, I normally don't fucking produce videos in this fucking format, but hey, shouts to boy Graham Stefan, also like a couple other YouTubers I watch, like Drew Gooden, old H3H3 that do this fucking face cam style format. Uh even Pyro does it now. Uh Damn, bro. I'm low-key looking good. You a solid six, my boy. Hey, I'm rocking the TRA-40s. Astro, what's up with that sponsorship? Shit, I wish, I wish. Shit, what am I gonna say? Think of something funny and push out this content, dumbass. Also, before the video starts, I wanna ask you guys to leave a like, uh, comment below if you think I should do more. Face cam style commentaries. I probably won't make the full switch quite yet, but you know, just let me know if you want to see more videos like this. But anyway, in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at a fake backwards compatibility test video that's actually gone pretty viral on YouTube. And I don't know if a lot of people are necessarily falling for this, but definitely got a lot of traction and honestly was received pretty well. So I hope that this doesn't actually confuse any people who probably don't even have the ps5 yet and are gonna buy it expecting one thing just to be left disappointed when sony themselves hasn't given any confirmation about backwards compatibility with games before the playstation 4 so honestly if it was possible i'm pretty sure they'd be like telling every single person about it because obviously that's a great selling point but despite knowing that information i obviously went ahead and tested it and confirmed that ps3 games were not functioning in this video here but in that video, I didn't test PS2 and PS1 games like this guy we have here. But I actually got some help from the homie and Peter who will actually come into play later. However, I did mention in that video that PS2 games more than likely wouldn't function. And I've also made a video about how some PS2 games can actually be technically played on the PS5 through like some emulator process. With like digital downloads that were also available on the old PlayStation. And despite having somewhat clickbait thumbnails, I wasn't really trying to be misleading in either of those videos. And I was more or less just doing some testing for scientific purposes however in today's example we have somebody who decided to completely fabricate results and pass them off as truth in a way that quite honestly probably fooled a lot of people because hey i've seen human beings believe dumber things there's people out there who pray to the flying spaghetti monster but anyway the video we're going to be discussing here today is ps5 works ps4 ps3 ps2 and ps1 games by el danber and as you can see his channel's in spanish by the description here and this video may be misleading, but we're going to go ahead and drop a like just because he's given us something to cover on the channel here. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So the video jumps straight into him testing out a PS4 game, which actually does work. So I'm not really expecting anything like weird to be going on here because, you know, this actually works normally. You can put in a PS4 disc straight into your PlayStation 5 and it'll work no problem. But one thing I do kind of want to point out is the position of that PlayStation, bro. Why is it, like, tilted so sketchy like that? You can't even see where he's, like, putting the disc in. Plus, he has, like, a bunch of cables on the bottom. It looks like that's a little, like, HDMI splitter. So he probably has, like, multiple sources plugged into the same monitor there. Pretty easy to make sure you maintain the same angle as well. All you really need to do is set up a tripod and just do not touch the camera position for anything. So now it's just a couple minutes of gameplay, I guess. But we're going to go ahead and skip past this gameplay to the PS3 section. Alright, so for the PS3 games, he's testing GTA 4. Yeah, this should not be compatible at all. Like you see right there, it actually shows that the disc is not readable. But he kind of just tries to tap on it instantly so the screen goes black right away. You can literally see a very noticeable cut in the video right here. And he probably just switched it to another source that wasn't the PS5 during that. So he more than likely just has his PS3 plugged in off camera. And once you actually get into the gameplay itself, he's not actually recording the monitor anymore. It's just pretty much standard game capture. You can literally add footage from any game you want while editing the video, so this doesn't really prove anything. Just in case like somebody wanted to mention the hand cam or something. So in case you choose not to believe me, here's an example of how easy this is. We're gonna go ahead and load up into a BO2 free for all in 2021 on the PS5, guys. That kid got shit on. Uh, he's mid-map. Oh, got him in the bedroom. Oh, get spawn trap kit. Freebie. Alright, next up is PS2 game, so let's go ahead and check this out here. He's actually using San Andreas, which you could play through, like, the emulator process I was talking about earlier. But when it's an actual PS2 game, it should say not compatible, which it just did. But I will say he definitely did do a better job of cutting the video in this segment, or 
Maybe he's just playing the PS5 compatible version of San Andreas. But I mean, obviously, I can also go ahead and confirm to you for a fact that PS2 discs do not work on PS5. And here we have footage that proves PS2 games don't work on the new PlayStation, courtesy of Impeter. So yeah, definitely not the real deal either. Holy fuck, it's not reading it, bro. Taking so long. Oh, there you go. So then the video pretty much ends with him inserting a PlayStation 1 disc similar to the last two generations, but given the rest of this video was entirely fake, I'm pretty sure you can tell this segment is as well. However, I don't really have much commentary to add on to that, so... The key takeaway for today is that PS5 is not backwards compatible with any generation besides PlayStation 4 and there probably is some fake videos out there like this which try to claim otherwise but you know they're not necessarily true and you should not buy a PS5 expecting it to be. But despite not having this feature I would definitely still recommend the PS5 because honestly this thing is pretty fucking awesome and will make you forget about your old PlayStation right away. But you know backwards compatibility would make it just that much better although it does not currently support it. So let me finish this video off by talking to Dan Bear, alright? Te hablo en español para que me entiendas. No estoy tratando de causar problemas ni discreditar tu canal, pero tú y yo dos sabemos que este video es falso. A pesar de eso, el video terminó bien interesante y entiendo que nomás andas tratando de ganar más vistas y suscriptores, como los demás de nosotros. Pero tampoco debes de tratar a pasar este video como es verdad cuando no es cierto. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the video up there. It's been your boy Archon, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.